Hi everyone, it's Lisa Joy Young and I've gotten lots of requests to do a video with the hubby so here he is and I'm going to be doing a cute furry monster face on him today. Okay so the first step is going to be to take a split cake, whatever colors you have will work just fine. The only thing you have to be careful about is you want to make sure there's a black on the edge because that's going to keep you from having to outline. So I'm going to take a three quarter inch brush, this is a one stroke brand, and I'm going to load it up and on the very tip of it, I'm going to make sure to get some of that black. Alright, so to make the fur-like effect, what you're going to do is um, make little jagged strokes. And your um, brush is going to be straight up and down, like that. And so you just go up and down. You can do bigger ones and smaller ones. And you're just going to do this all the way around the face. Alright, so I'm just going to finish up with my fur. I'm going to go up at a little bit of an angle so it frames his eyes like a mask and all the way across the bridge of the nose. Now as you can see, I've left some spaces open in certain areas and that's where I'm going to put some claws. So to make room for the claws, all you're going to do is just do a semi-circle like that. So everywhere, and you could do this um, as you're going. You don't have to leave the spaces. So three and four. So you should have hair going all the way around and four semicircles on the temples and at the top of the brows right there. Now I'm going to take a sponge. I'm going to go ahead and mist that. And my split cake is made up of neon green, uh, dark blue, black, and a turquoise. So I'm just going to take the lighter colors and put it right on my sponge, avoiding those darker colors just like that. Now I'm going to take those colors and I'm just going to fill in um, the inside. So the reason I'm doing this now instead of before as the first step is so I can just blend it right up into the strokes. I feel like it makes a better, better blend to do it that way instead of doing it at the beginning. Now I have my three quarter inch brush again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, two little stalks coming out and if anyone's ever seen Lynn Jameson's cute little monsters this is totally inspired by her she's one of my favorite favorite artists and I love her so she has a, a furry monsters on Faba TV so if you have Faba TV check it out if you don't you should get it because it's a really good class all right so how you're gonna make this little stock right here is to right about right here in the middle of the brow you're going to take your brush and do those same movements that you did, just a little bit smaller, okay? So the same movements you did for the hair everywhere else. Turn the brush around and do the same thing. So you have two cute furry stalks coming up. And if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can go back and redo the hair right there so it looks like they're being covered by the overlapping hair. All right, now I have some Diamond Effects White loaded on one of my uh, Martha Stewart Pouncer sponges. And you do not have to use these if you don't have it, but um, they just make the perfect circles and it makes a little bit of a drier circle so that your black goes over it better, which works good for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push and stipple this on a little bit. Is that a word? So, so there you go, stipple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's new to me. All right, now I have um, Diamond Effects White on a number eight round brush, and I'm going to do the claws or the teeth, however you want to think of them. And how you're going to do that is you just go halfway down into your little semicircle, push, and do a curve, and the, which ends in a point. So let me get some more white because some blue got in there. I'm going to do the same thing, push down. Lift up on your brush while you're curving. So you're going to push, curve, and lift. And the same thing going this way. Push, curve, and lift. So there's all the claws and you can get those done in one stroke. Alright, now I have some tag metallic orange. I put a little bit of yellow in there to lighten it up just a tad. And I'm going to put little um, colored dots just to add interest 
and to make it even cuter. And it always looks good if you do the dots in a contrasting color. Okay, now I have my number eight round in some wolf black. And I'm going to do the inside of the eyeball. So I'm just going to do a quick um, circle. One right there. All right, now I'm going to do outlining. I'm not going to outline too much. I'm not going to outline any of the fur, which is nice, and that's what helps save time on this design. Um, but as for the claws, what I'm going to do is do a little C like that to give make it look like the claws are embedded there. And then give them a quick outline. And if you have a little extra time, you can flick in to give some shadow and texture. Just do a C and a quick outline. And I'm also going to do a really thin outline on the eyes. If you're in a hurry, skip this part. All right, and I'm also just going to do a really small outline on the background of the bump where the um, claws are coming out of. So just go up, up, the same thing over here. All right, the last step is to put little highlights in his eyes, and this will help him look cuter and more animated. So one, two, I like to do two. Okay, here's, here's actually a little tip I'll throw in. I grabbed it ultra round to do my dots. That's a really bad idea because they come to a really defined point and you're going to get bad looking dots. So um, when you're doing dots, always grab a round and try to stay away from the ultra rounds. Ultra rounds are great for swirls and curls and things like that. Horrible for dots. Okay everyone, so that's it. It's just a really cute, fun uh, monster mask to do for little boys. If you do it in pink or whatever, you can even do it for girls. I hope that you guys liked it um, and that you can use it at an event soon. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And check me out on Facebook. I'm Andrew Lisa Joy Young. Thanks everybody. Bye.